Okay, so we are continuing looking at the balance of payments. Now we're looking at the capital and financial account. Okay, in terms of the syllabus, we are still in Australia's balance of payments. We are moving on from the uh, we're moving on from the current account. Instead, we're looking at the capital and financial account today. What are we talking about with the CAFA? Well, we're talking about the account that's concerned with financial assets and liabilities flowing into and out of Australia. In particular, we are looking at money flowing from international borrowing, lending, and the purchase of assets such as shares and real estate. These transactions are reversible. An investor can take their money back and say, I'm not proceeding with this project or governments can cancel their foreign aid. It's not like the current account where transactions are non-reversible. Here, transactions are reversible. Okay, here is your overview of the capital and financial account. See how it's divided into the capital account, financial account, and then the balance on the CAFA. Now we're going to go through each of these components. So please don't get confused. Capital here refers to the movement of money, not capital goods. Okay, the capital account consists of two main components. The first is capital transfers. This is conditional foreign aid grants and debt forgiveness. Conditional foreign aid is where governments give money to other countries to help them do something specific. Australia gives money to Fiji to build a bridge is conditional. Australia gives money to Fiji to do whatever it wants is unconditional and not recorded here. The other bit is debt forgiveness. If one country says to another, you don't have to pay back that debt anymore, that is debt forgiveness and is recorded here. The other thing that is recorded on the capital account is the transactions involving non-produced, non-financial assets. So trademarks, patents, copyrights and franchises. A good example is that if an Australian company buys the rights to open a Subway restaurant, that means the Australian company has to pay Subway in America money. In exchange, the Australian company gets the franchise rights to open up a Subway restaurant. The money flows out of Australia and it's recorded right here on the capital account. All right, let's remember the financial account. Okay, so direct investment, foreign direct investment, FDI, it's all the same. If a company buys, the more, buys more than 10% of the shares on offer, develops new investments or purchases existing businesses, this is recorded under FDI in the financial account. These are long-term investments. Portfolio investment, buying or selling land, shares, less than 10% of the total. This is short-term, still recorded here. Financial derivatives are also recorded here. These are very complex in many ways. So financial derivatives are purchases of complex financial assets whose value is based on other assets. So for example, I'm buying a fund which is based on mortgages. It's a very complex thing, but if it occurs, it is recorded here. The other transactions that are recorded here are reserve assets. So anything that the RBA does in terms of buying and selling foreign exchange, gold, and making contributions to the International Monetary Fund. Other investment is our final category on the financial account. The most important thing that's recorded here are loans. So if money flows in for loans or Australia lends money for loans, it is coming out of the financial account. Okay, so today we had a quick look at the components of the capital and financial account. The next video, we'll look at how does the balance of payments balance.